We're gonna be making a thumbnail using the new World of Course 2. Well, sorta. Of. So that means that we're gonna have to pay three real sadly. Just do it! Hey yo, what is up everyone? My name is Jack and I'm finally back to Filmora and I'm gonna upload consistently on YouTube. Anyways, we're gonna check out the new Filmora tutorial and then have a QA session. And after that, we're gonna make an edit. Comment down below if you want more videos. Bro, dude, Filmora's interface is kinda looking fresh though. So there's a new auto frame which basically follows your subject wherever it's going and it's pretty cool I haven't tried it yet. So I already have my assets imported and we're just gonna drag and drop the images. And the first thing I suggest you do is placing your picture in the right spot. So I'm gonna have mine towards the left a little bit. And once you have done that you just wanna color grade and how you do it it's pretty easy. You just adjust the sliders until it matches your liking. Once you have done color correcting your image you just wanna add a quick mask around your subject. Adjust the settings a little bit until you find what's good. And we're gonna be using the rotor brush tool or the human segment segmentation and for more now what you want to do is adjust the settings to make sure it fits perfectly and cuts out everything and for me i'm gonna extend the feather so it doesn't look as sharp and after you have done that you want to add the human border which is a stroke it's going to be used for a glow now i'm going to add some pixel blur and you don't want the percentage to be high or else the image is going to be really hard to identify. I noticed that there's a small spot around my head and I gotta mask that. So I'm going to add another mask and adjust it a little bit. For the background, I'm going to go with a simple red to attract your precious eyes. <laughs> now you want to add a mask to the red image. Just move it across so it fits behind your subject. For the opposite side of the thumbnail, I'm going to be looking at the Filmora logo. Just add a square mask so the edge is curved a little bit. Rotate the logo a little bit and for the background, go with a yellow because it matches with the red so much. And you want to make the color more saturated. Now we're going to be adding this cool starburst image that you can find in the description. And also, I'm going to leave a template down below once we hit 200 likes, so please like this video. Once you have the starburst under the logo, you want to change the blending mode to screen that's gonna remove all the black and you might have to duplicate it depending on the background color finally i'm gonna add a text uh where it says subscribe it says i am back with the color blue on the bottom all right so basically we are done we're gonna take a screenshot and then add it to your timeline again we're gonna color grade it and just add some glow to it so it looks more attractive now we are 100 percent done and now let's just go get some reactions Three, two, one. Yo, what? Wait, that's like better than my thumbnails. What the <laughs> freak? So a few days ago, I asked you to ask me some questions, and here are the top favorites. So this first question is really interesting, and to be honest, at first, I did want to switch, but Filmora had reached out to me for a sponsorship. Now the second question is by far my most favorite one because and not a lot of people know like how you can do like effects in Filmora and make your own. What I used to do is basically like watch a bunch of tutorials on different software and then I would try to replicate it on Filmora with whatever effects they had at that time. I have no clue if I'm going to be doing YouTube as a full time job in the future but I do prefer like making videos over working 8 hours at Vayne's. Um, of course. Because today's sponsor is Bill Mora. Now the last question, are you a part of the Deep Blue Gang? Of course I am. Hey, let's go.